and welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of Ax Fatalis. Hmm. This is just gonna be a short one in which I try to tie up some loose ends. Oh, no. Yeah. You may remember these traders. Whoa, the dog killed him. These traders from before, here on level 5. I believe if you actually kill the goblins. Oh, God, he got spiked. Then this is what happens. Other goblins come in and take revenge on the humans. Look at them. One of them is grey, the other is more brown. These are actually from both the water and the earth tribe. Yeah, and both the brothers are dead. <sighs> we don't even get their stash because I guess the goblins plundered everything already. But their dog survives, at least. Oh, horrible. But that's not all. There's actually something hidden under this pillow here, a piece of paper. Here's the map showing how to reach the snake women's hideout. I found a huge number of different objects there that we will be able to sell further at a good price. Yeah. Now you may remember this is kind of a climbing act, but uh, you can actually get to the snake women's compound well, not exactly to their compound, but more to their um, uh, supply chamber through level 4. And this basically tells the player where to find that if they don't find it on their own. We also get the key, of course, for the chest. But there's nothing interesting in it. Yeah. And that's it. That's the end of the guy. Or well, the guys. Poor, poor swords. Maybe we are responsible for, you know, attacking the goblins and then the other, the remaining goblins from both tribes band together and uh, decide to kill the humans. Could be the problem here. Oh well. Also supposed to be something else, something very minor though. Let's quickly make our way over there. It's nothing much. I just want to check whether that's the case or not. I I think they're supposed to be. Some more enemy soldiers around here. You better get out of here if you want to stay alive. Who are you guys? If you're looking for trouble, you found it here. Oh, they're already attacking me. Who are these folks? They don't seem to be lo to belong to either the Sacred Dagger Order, nor to Lunshire soldiers, nor are they cultists from the looks of it. Maybe they are mercenaries or something. Well, let's see what they have to say for themselves. One gold coin. Some tools. Gold. And that's it. Yeah, I've been by confused by these people forever. I never knew what they were on about. I mean... Why do they attack us? Why are they here? Who do they work for? I have no idea. The only thing I can uh, imagine is that these folks were supposed to be part of some other quest that was never really implemented. That could be it. Um, 
They, they seem to spawn here towards the end of the game, but I never found a purpose for them. Just like with the red man on level 8 actually, the uh, the neutral red man that I have, no, I have not found any way to interact with. So, yeah. Sorry about that, but I just wanted to show you that. And one final thing. Just really quick. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here's the teleporter. Back in Ox, there's something we missed that we could have found ages ago. It's not important at all, but it is curious. Have a look in these chests and help yes. yourself. Yes, I will help myself, thank you. But not to the chests, but rather to this jar and the note underneath it. Maria, it's been a long time since we've been able to see each other. And if only the situation were not at, at it, as it is, I would do anything in the world to be by your side. Yours, L. It's unclear, but... Maybe, maybe this is actually Lunshire trying to meet new people. See if you need any of my wares. How about I show you this? You don't care. How about I show Lunshire this? I mean, I I can't really, I can't guarantee this, but uh, it sounds like. Because of his station, he could never, you know, interact in that way with a common trader, common business owner or something, I guess. Even though his wife has been dead for, well, I don't know how long exactly, but certainly at least one, two decades more, probably. So, and the whole thing about um, the situation, you know, it makes it sound like because he is royalty, he can't do what he wants to. You know, you really shouldn't have put that there. It just disturbs me every time. That's even more disturbing. Have a look at this. <sighs> you know, that's a bit disappointing, but there we go. I guess we don't get to actually uh, take a deeper sneaking peek into the uh, whole love affair that's going on here but I mean maybe I just missed it but I don't remember too many people with a name that starts with an L and remember that Queen Florence she also just called herself F in the note that she left so it's certainly not without precedent anyway that's it for this time see you then folks bye